Why are houses getting more expensive? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode at Nova Rice Invest, your channel for financial education. So the saga continues. We're going to keep talking about housing prices. I'm going to provide you an update today uh, about what's happening in the market that is contributing to the increase in prices. I know that last year we had the issue with lumber price and supply chain issues, but what's causing the price increases this year? Is it still going to be lumber or is it a complete new issue that's happening? So let's Let's find out. So here we have an article provided by Bloomberg that talks about the new issue that's affecting housing prices, right? So as you can see here in the image, we're talking about nails, okay? Nail prices are surging. And on top of that, they're also getting harder to get for carpenters. So as you can see, there's a picture of a carpenter working in a house. So last year, once again, it was lumber. Now this year, we don't have any nails. So even if we want to build something, we don't have anything to hold it, right? So what's contributing to that, right? So let's just find out. So let's get started at this point, right? So the good news here is that nail prices have gone down since 1695. However, the bad news is that just like everything happening today, they have gotten more expensive and harder to find over the last two years. Now, the question is what's contributing to it, right? Because remember, not having nails doesn't only impact the carpenters and the equation. As you can see here, this contributes to slowdown in construction sites. So if you're in the market looking for a home and you're desperate trying to find that home and you don't see any house hitting the market, now you have an idea as to why. We don't have any nails going on. And so let's try to figure out what's happening and see what the market is doing to resolve this issue. So as we scrolling down, uh, we can skip through all of this. Uh, you can read this on your own. I'm going to provide you with the link to the article that you can read. Um, but it's giving you simple math that talks about the cost uh, of getting those nails and um, the cost of like shipping them, freight, transportation and all of that. Right. Um, so let's just start right here. So fried cost is now at $17 a box. So that's a huge chunk of the price right there. And so imagine that additional cost into the construction of your house. Then in addition to that, we're talking about metal prices, which by the way, have also gone up. And there's also tariffs that were imposed by the Trump administration. And that has also added to the fact that nails are more expensive nowadays. And even with that increased cost, they're still hard to find, right? So here we go. So a combination of factors, fright, metal, labor, tariffs, etc. the same all same all that has been happening over the past couple of months that has conspired to bring the prices of a nail up significantly. And as we're scrolling down here, you can see that meanwhile, for a variety of factors, business still cannot keep up with the absolute boom in demand, which according to this article, the demand of housing is not going to slow down anytime soon, even if mortgage rates are rising, simply due to the fact that housing in the US remains too scarce. Now, the next part is why aren't the carpenters, why aren't builders getting enough nails? Well, once again, we have supply side constraints and it all goes back to freight. And here's the quote in a combination of not enough supply to the market lead times due to the capacity issues on getting containers increasing from 45 days to four to five months, not enough capacity in the United States and the robust demand and the market. So once again, why are houses getting more expensive? So one, there's the high cost of nails Two, we have supply constraints. So that means you have to wait longer. Third, we don't have any laborers available that are willing to build. So now you have to pay more for somebody to come in and want to do the work for you. And all of these factors are not only contributing to the increase in housing prices, but they're also contributing to the scarcity, to the shortage, because there's not enough building materials available. Now, the good news is that the market is adjusting, right? So according to this other Bloomberg article, planes, crane and barges, how America is adapting to supply chain chaos. That means that people and businesses are already taking action 
to you know work around the issues around supply chain and working around to get materials shipped across the country so that whoever are in need of them can get a hold of them a lot faster so for those who want to check out how they're doing it here's a very interesting article over here that you can check out and then another factor that is impacting the housing prices and making it go up is the fact that mortgage rates are actually going up and in fact they have gone up up to four percent even before the announcement of the Fed. This article was actually covered in depth in a prior episode. For those who have not checked it out, I want to invite you to check it out right here on the side because whatever I cover in that video is gonna help you complement this very short clip that I shared with you today. I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.